Hi there, it's Jim from Janku, and today we're going to talk about making custom brushes in GIMP. Now, we had a comment on one of our recent videos here, so we had one about adding brushes to GIMP. And down here it says, they were able to create a custom brush in GIMP, and then they exported it as a GBR file, but after importing it and refreshing their brushes, they weren't actually able to change the color of the brush. So let's take a look at that in GIMP. I'll start by creating a new canvas and I'll make the background transparent and say OK. And then I'll just zoom out a little bit here by holding down Control and pressing the scroll wheel. And now let's just grab a current brush here and let's just draw something on this canvas. So I'm going to increase my size a little bit. And I'll just use this blue color here. That's fine for now. And I'll just draw any design here. And this will be the custom brush that we're creating. So this squiggly line represents what we're creating for our brush. And we can simply just export this image now, since it has a transparent background. So we'll go to File, Export As, and we'll just name this squiggle.gbr. So since this is a .gbr file extension, we can import this as a brush into GIMP. So let's save this on our desktop, and I'll export that. And now if I go to Edit, Preferences, and inside my folders here, if I look inside the brushes folder, you can see that this is my local folder for my brushes. If I highlight this, I can actually use this file cabinet icon here to show the file in my browser. And then I'll just open up the brushes folder here. And this is where my custom brushes are currently. Now, if I switch over to my desktop here, I can grab this new brush that we created here, this squiggle.gbr file. And I can grab this and I can just copy and paste it in this brushes folder. If I go back to GIMP, and I close out of my preferences real quick, with the tool options for my brush open right now, I can click on this current brush, and there's a little shortcut down here, and I can click on this paintbrush down here in the bottom right, say open the brushes selection dialog. I'll open that. And here are all the brushes throughout my system. Now, you can filter this by different types of brushes to show additional brushes here. But for now, let's work with the basic set since these are all uncategorized. And then I'll just come down here and at the bottom, there's this little refresh brushes icon. I'll click that. And you can see that our new brush has been added here. So this is a little blue squiggly line. Let's just create a new canvas here to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna just get rid of this color real quick. I'll just paste white over this. Okay, so let's select our new brush here and let's grab our brushes tool. And you'll see that that brush is now selected here. And it's very large. You can kind of see the outline here. Let's just bring the size down a little bit. And then I can start stamping out this brush and start using it to draw different things. But you'll note that if I change the color here, so if I put the yellow color up here and I try drawing it, it's still a blue color. Now the reason for that is we actually didn't export this brush as a grayscale brush. So let's go back over to this initial brush here that we drew. And let's just go to Image, Mode, and we'll change it from RGB to grayscale. And you can see that that converted this from that blue color to this grayscale color. And now let's come back up here and let's do another file and let's export this to squiggle.gbr. So that's just gonna overwrite the initial brush that we exported. I'll say export. And if you came back to your desktop, we have this GBR file. So this has been overwritten with our new file. And let's open this folder again. So this is our GIMP brushes folder that we already had open. Let's delete this brush here. So I'm gonna move that to the trash. And if I were to go back to GIMP at this point and refresh my brushes, you'll see that this brush here will disappear. So I'll refresh that. That brush is gone now. And if we come back over here and we copy this new brush and put it in there and go back to GIMP and refresh it now, you'll see we have the new grayscale version of that brush appearing. So let's go back over to our canvas where we were drawing the blue brushes before. Let's highlight our new brush here. And again, let's change the size a little bit. And we'll start drawing. You can see now that the brush is coming out in a yellow color. Now, if I were to switch this to something else, let's pick maybe a green color here and say OK. You can see that we're now drawing it in a green color. And you can play with all the normal settings in here. So if you wanted to change the opacity, for instance, you could come in here and you could play with this. I'm going to bring the opacity down. So you can kind of get some blending of the colors there like that. Now you could draw any shape to create the brush. So I just created this arbitrary squiggle shape, but you could import an image and make that into a brush, or you could draw any kind of custom image that you want. Just make sure that you set it to that image 
mode grayscale before exporting to a .gbr file, and that will allow you to change the colors once you import it into your brushes panel. Now, one last thing I want to demonstrate here is that we have these filters here. So we have these different categories. Now, if you wanted your brush to appear in a specific category, you basically would create a subfolder inside this brushes folder here. So let's create a new folder here called squiggles. And let's grab the squiggle.gbr file and just drag and drop that in that new folder. And we can come back over here to our brushes dialog. Let's just refresh. And now if we look at the filters, you can see we have a new folder here called Squiggles. If I were to click on that, it shows only that new custom brush we created there. So hopefully that helps you get started creating custom brushes in GIMP. Thanks for the question, Daryl. We always like when people have questions and put them in the comments. We definitely read those and try to get back to as many folks as we can. All right, thanks for watching and we'll be in touch with more GIMP tutorials in the near future. Take care.